Episode 8. Final episode. Final episode. Miranda and Ikea decolonise morning television. That's pretty much it. Yeah. At the top of this episode, McLennan and I have an emergency and we have to vacate the studio. So we get our first guests of this of the episode to host the whole show. I'm Miranda Tapsell and I'm lucky enough to be an actor on Get Kraken. Um, I'm Nikki Lilly and I am also lucky enough to be an actor on Get Kraken. I know it's so well. Nakia and Miranda are just <laughs> primed. Like they're so acting voice fit. Like they're just yeah. it's it was like watching two athletes, kind yeah, of yeah. acting athletes. It was a, a real privilege to watch them act. It was a real privilege to have their brains involved in our show. Nakia Louie co-wrote this episode and Miranda had substantial input. A real privilege to be in a position where they were willing to give their story and experience to the show. Like that's incredibly special. Yeah. And we yeah. that doesn't that's you know, we, we feel that lightly no, at we all. incredibly very, very honoured. Coming up with like I guess the theme and the story for the episode, it felt like it was just a lot of downloading my grievances with the world <laughs> with the gates. This is what it's like to be an Aboriginal woman and this is what I don't like. You and the Kates like did this incredible job of deconstructing why Aboriginal women in particular might be angry. It draws a lot from real life. I remember saying to the Kates like, you know, I do wonder am I, do I, should I stop talking about white privilege? Do I, like, am I always going to be like that angry Aboriginal person or that, you know, like there's a cost to everything, um, like a very personal cost. I think what Nakia and the Kates have written is to show that there isn't an even playing field and when it comes to a lot of outrage I think a lot of people try and imply that there is. What I think is so great about the Kates is they manage to have this very, like, unique ridiculous, um, quite big sense of humour, but also it's quite nuanced. I think that's really unique. Yeah. But there's not a lot of room for nuance these days. You know, you like tomato sauce, you hate mustard. And if you articulate your identity, whether that's being, you know, an Aboriginal person or, you know, a, a woman of colour or just being a woman, anything to do with your gender, sex, queerness, anything to do with your identity that sits outside of the norm, that's seen as adversarial as opposed to just being a person. Yeah. People are going to watch this and go, oh, this is why they might get, this is why they might get frustrated. This is why, you know, it just, it really, um, it made it valid, you know. F8 was a real highlight to be involved in. Um, it was a real privilege to see those women act. They were like, really good. So good. They were really good. Like in a way that it was really kind of great to see it was, how it, good people can be in our show. Yes, because... it was very validating to go, yeah, no, there's a reason why we want to stop <laughs> our <laughs> characters. <laughs> it's amazing to see people bring nuance and yeah, depth like to it. <laughs> I also have a saying, and it's called, like my, my grandma used to say it to me, and it's like, if you're gonna poke it, f it. And I think the Kates do that really well, is that they just kind of take stuff to the extreme. <laughs> Whether that be through, it's you know, great. humor no, or politics, um, they really do use their show, not just as a form of like, really good entertainment, but as a platform and a mechanism to really push story and issues in a way that you don't see on a lot of comedy shows and it's really unique within the Australian comedy um, spectrum. <laughs> Not the right word. Also, it's really good, like, you do a show and then you get asked back and you're like, oh, yeah, I wasn't as shit as I thought I was. <laughs> like, so that's nice. Yeah, last episode ever of the show. Mm. Miranda and Nakia. <laughs> Nail it to the wall. Yeah.
so fun creating a world and people getting on board from so many different departments and um, helping you create this very silly world. A very, 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 very silly world. Mm. It was a privilege to work with um, the young up-and-comer, um, Kate McLennan. Don't know if you've heard of her. Um, she's uh, not much of an actor, but she's like a, a really... She turns up every day. Every day. She's very And punctual. she's got a very good immune system. She does. It was, uh, it was fun. It's fun to be in a show with your best friend. Shut up! <laughs> I'm, of course, referring to the cash cock. <laughs> We've still got the set. It'll be in storage. If anyone wants to use it, yeah, by let all us means. know. Just give us an offer. Yeah, we'll rent it out. Yeah. <laughs>